For this video, I'm going to show you from start to finish the process of recording on my RC300 Boss Loop Station. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a thumbs up, appreciate it, to keep in the loop. One little preamble to this is you need to see the video, there's a link up here. Uh, if you haven't already, it shows you how to set up your RC300 in the verse, chorus, bridge format. It also, it's there for reference. So let's, uh, let's start. First thing I'm going to do, of course, is get my notepad, listen to the song. Usually I go to YouTube, pretty much always has the song I'm looking for. I've sort of got an idea. I think I jammed the song before range. You got to figure out, you don't want to put all your bass tracks down and then discover later that the key is too high for you to sing or it's not a good key. First thing I'm going to do though, I'm going to um, make a list of all the different parts because obviously you have to break things down into three parts. There are tricks to doing four parts in a song which require basically turning the entire loop station off for that part and maybe you're filling in on just your guitar and it'll work. So I'm going to just listen. If there's a fourth part, figure out how to incorporate that into the song. Well, what do you know? There's four sections, which means I'm going to have to combine the intro and the verse. Instead of playing eight bars of the intro and then doing 16 as of, the, of a verse, I'm going to blend these together and I'm going to do just one track. Track number one is going to have eight intro and then it's going to have 16 of the verse. And then that means I've got three sections because then there's also the chorus, which will be number two. And number three is this flanger part where he's going and then a solo and um, I thought maybe I could just turn off the looper you know pause it and play the flanger part and then do the solo but the solo is kind of a different style of playing from everything else so that's the way it is when i record this is going to be quite a long section it's going to have a lot of bars it means you have less pedal pushing to do which is kind of convenient I've set a template up. I'll show you how to make a template in another video. I'll put the link up here or here. Yeah, so for this song, I use the template that is the verse chorus bridge, of course. There is another template you may want to use. Basically, uh, I use two templates, more or less, for my songs. Some of the songs, I'll put a link here to one by George Harrison, which is kind of a drone song in the sense that it's got the same bass line going on throughout the entire song. So basically, I just push pedal one. It's got what I, tracks I need, and then I can push pedal two and push pedal three and uh, have other loops on them. And they won't be playing in series, they'll be playing parallel together. If you want to match the song tempo, which is what I'm going to do, I've got the track here set up, it's all blank. So basically you just play your song and then tap along to the tempo of the song and then you'll have the exact tempo in your, your RC30, 300. Okay, so it's 129.7. So let's discuss um, the rhythm pattern for, that I use for this tune. I picked Simple Beat one, and I actually default to that one a lot because it's just bass, kick, bass, kick. Here, I'll play it. And it's pretty simple. If you keep it simple, that's good. You can compensate with what you're playing instrumentally or vocally and just keep it simple. But there are quite a few to choose from, of course. There's, um, let's see. Now I'm going to do another video and show you what I'm going to try. I'm going to try putting the rhythm, that is the drums, out of a separate output. Put them through a compressor and a reverb pedal and see how that changes the sound and if it's more dynamic. I wouldn't say generic is the word, but they are kind of generic. This can sound really good. I mean, I have some funky tunes and then just straight drums. They sound fine. It's a nice sounding snare, good to kick. Anyways, back to the tune that we're working on. I'll put a link up here if I do uh, get that video done where I try putting the drums through a different uh, effect. Here's the uh, track. I ended up putting the bass down and I also added 
it's an octave up for the guitar. Uh, it sounded a lot fuller. If you listen to the studio recording, they have uh, two guitars playing that riff. One is an octave higher. Intro and the verse on this one, and then I had the, the chorus on this one, which was very simple and short. And then three became, of course, like I planned. So that'll all be here. Um, I put down a guitar track so I can do soloing. And if you're playing live and you've got a group of people dancing on the dance floor, you can just hit this one again if you know, oh wow. They're they're really getting into this. I'm getting into this. I'm gonna I'm gonna play the whole solo section again. That's the luxury of having this pedal. So the drums are here and I can turn the volume down and then finish the song like that. I'm going to be putting up more videos, examples of what songs that I've recorded with the RC300. I'm going to put the whole cover version online and then uh, afterwards do a short video or a link to that video showing the background, the behind the scenes of that uh, song in case you wanted to incorporate that song into your own repertoire. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a thumbs up. Appreciate it to keep in the loop. Signing off. Guitar equals happy. It's Dean Wolf. See you later.